which is which is living centuries. It has high-tech city on one side. It, it has lanes and by lanes of 400 years old city. And these children are there in every city and every nook and corner of the city. And the challenge is to reach this child who's in the hospital. He's not in the street. And we can see here. Dr. Gopal and Dr. Dobra published in 1995, almost five years after the uh, priority study was done that India is uh, you know, having this disease. And here we have the data from our hospital, that our hospital from 87 to 95, there is no ROPD. So this is a new disease in the country, it was not there. And then rapidly it rose, and it rose because of these NICUs coming up. And now government has set up SNCUs in every district, so every district is going to see a lot of ROP blight coming up. And it's not only the number of hospitals, but also the varying care. Now, we don't have very high-end nurseries and great you know, care in, across the place. You can have open care, you can have unmonitored oxygen, you can have the best care in the world. So everything is there in our uh, city or in our institutes around us. So we have to gear up to the challenge of this situation where child is surviving, but, but he's not getting the best environment, and that is the state where severe ROP occurs. And this is why we need India-specific guidelines. I think it's very important for everybody to know that don't use the guidelines which are in the textbooks. Use the guidelines which are published uh, where Dr. Anand Dinekar, myself, we were experts and this was published by National Neurology Forum. It is on the website. It gives us what are the things to be done for people in India. This is very nice. So the most important message, you can sleep through the whole of the lecture, but you just remember one thing, that every newborn baby whose preterm must be screened within 30 days of life. So this is Roshni Ke. So everybody should know, just 30 days to ice cream. That's the most important message because it's a time-bound disease. So we want to preserve, we are very good at preserving our property. So we want to preserve what the child was born with. This is what the child preterm baby is born with. So this is what a child is born with. He is born with a normal macula, a normal posterior pole, and then the ROP starts. So we have the opportunity to prevent this from having any distortion or any traction. You can see the disease slowly progresses through various stages, and the only thing that is required for you is to do an indirect ophthalmoscopy or an ophthalmoscopy. You don't have to learn a big technique of ECHO or you know PK or DSEC. Just have to do a fundoscopy. You can use any method. So who should do the screening? So please take training. Don't start screening without training. Even a two-week training is more than sufficient in a good center for you to know how to pick up these various stages. Mainly you are looking at the vascular pattern. The vessels should not be, you know, uh, missed. You need to look at the vessels. And you can look at them with different things. You can use machines, you can use indirect, you can do direct, whatever. But you must be motivated to understand the disease. You should know what is the safety precautions to be taken for these children. And anybody who learns fundoscopy it can be neonatologists, ophthalmologists, nurses, technicians. Various studies have been done that most people, once they learn good fundoscopy, they can pick up ROP. And where to screen? There's not much literature on where we should screen, but obviously if the child is very preterm, he cannot come out of the incubator, you can screen through the wall of the incubator. It can be done on the mother's lab, as Dr. Padmada is doing here, about 10,000 baby in the program. It can be done in neonatologist OPD. So you can go to the OPD and you know, check all the babies who come there. Or you can collect all the babies who come who follow up in a city to one center and screen there. Or in the ophthalmologist OPD. So depending on the baby's health, you can screen anywhere. It just takes five minutes to screen. Most of the important is which baby to screen. So again, there are um, data to show, right, from our center and Dr. Gopal and Anand Nagar Center that the criteria of the best don't fulfill to us. We need to screen every preterm baby who is irrespective of other criteria, especially because in our country, the mothers don't remember their LMP. We are heavily loaded with patients. There's no time to calculate the two. Uh, LMP and gestational age. So, if you don't have time, and at least every bit of baby screen, screening by 30 days, that's the easiest. Because even 2.5 or 3 kg baby, if he was 32 or 3 weeks, that is large, large for gestational age babies, can get very bad ROP. So, don't miss them. So, the best thing is any freedom baby is good screen. If you want criteria of there, everybody less than 2 kg or less than 35 weeks, which you have to calculate from LMP, uh, is to be screened. So there are various risk factors for ROP or very really bad ROP, very the low birth weight babies, those who don't gain weight. So there's a good criteria if the child is not gaining weight, he has high risk of ROP. If they come from a nursery where there are many babies and few nurses, then you know it's unmonitored oxygen or there are no blenders or fluctuating oxygen, so there's nobody to monitor the oxygen. If there are hematological abnormalities, like child didn't have good care, blood transfusion, so she had infected dysfunction or hemoglobin problem, or their low IGF-1 levels don't do practically. Recently, we found that mothers who 
got a vaccine for dumping my leg, the mother child seems to be very severe aroppy, so there needs to be more study on that, because maybe the child when it gets suppressed, the vaccine crosses the placental barrier. And we also did a study with children, anemic mothers have uh, children born with poorer retinal function than mothers who are not anemic, so that could explain some of the reasons why Indian mothers babies get more aroppy even if they were older as compared to the Western. So this is just to show the data uh, from the Western countries that most of them fall within 31 weeks and 1500 grams. But in India and in other countries which includes data from Hyderabad, Madras, that is Dr. Gopal Center and my center, it shows that there is wide variation. There are big babies who are getting ROP, there are larger babies who are getting ROP. So we need to have more broader criteria and that's what has been set up. And this is to show the 10 year trends that you know, in spite of very good care state, 10 to 15 percent babies will get very severe ROP. So it is a condition with 20 million children being born, you are going to see the hundreds of children with this problem once you start screening. And what we wanted to highlight was we did a study between 2002 versus 2010. So is there a change over 10 years? And we were not happy to find that, you know, that the compliance that is after so much of awareness, we are running around, we are talking to our doctors, they are sending them letters, we are in all meetings of National Neurotology Forum, United College of Pediatrician, what is happening after 10 years? Is there somebody following? So in tertiary centers, 77 to 80 percent followed, still not reached 95 or 98, what we want. Whereas in secondary centers, that is the districts, that is the smaller town and cities, it's only 30 to 40 percent. So that is what, where the, the crux of the problem is and that is where we all have to work together to make sure that every preterm baby in our city or town is covered in the program. So this is just to show that in 10 years our surgery rates have gone very high and more and more babies are getting stage 5, which is not what we want. And inoperable babies, still 35% of babies presenting to us are inoperable stage. And this is our 10,000 baby came from Kakinara, a small town in a government setup. So this is what is the reality now today. Previously it was a disease which was in Hyderabad, Chandigarh and Delhi. But now it is in the smaller towns and cities. And you are going to see these white reflex, beautiful babies with planets, which is unclinicated and unscreened. And this is what we need to do, the awareness campaigns in those every district of In the western countries you cannot set up an NICU till you have an ophthalmologist on board. It is, it is illegal to set up an NICU without an ophthalmologist. And that is the level we want to reach here also. That no NICU should be set up without an ophthalmologist. And that work all of us have to do in our cities and towns. So that is what is most important. Whenever I see a stage 5, I write letters and don't think it doesn't make a difference. It makes a huge difference. This day only Dr. Chatterjee from RIO, Calcutta told me, Madam, your letter came to us and you know, we changed our status. So I just, just want to say that still it's a reality that the pediatricians are not writing in the uh, discharge summary. That is where it has to be. It has to be on the immunization card or the discharge summary that baby has to be screened by 30 days. And does it make a difference? Immediately it makes a difference. The moment you start screening, the number of blind babies start coming down as our data. This will be published in IGO in the year. So what we need is partnerships with our neonatologists, nurses, gynecologists and to see that the stage 5 out comes down. And where are the screeners? All of you are going to be screeners. So please take some training to learn the fundoscopy of babies and then we can cover all the empty areas in this data. So we have been world champions in Kho Kho. We are losing in cricket, so don't go after cricket. Fancy games, go to ground reality. We are still world champions in Kho Kho because that is our game. And we can win it because we have the largest number of freedom babies anywhere in the world. So these are all the beautiful babies that you can save. And the only thing I want you to remember is this thing, this thing, Russian.